Congratulations, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> So good to meet you, but you are a finalist in our Dare to Dream Challenge, and I was super excited to see your transformation. I literally just read over it again, and I was so excited to just ask you a few questions um, to just get a feel of your full story, if that's okay with you. That's perfect. All right, so why don't you just start with filling me in on kind of how you got introduced to Beachbody, or, or maybe why don't we start before then? you know, what led you to even needing Beachbody or wanting Beachbody in your life? So let me just start with, um, I was very ignorant to, uh, to a lot of ways of life. I would, uh, I used to smoke cigarettes. I would drink excessively. Um, and I was just living my life. I always thought that that was living life to my fullest because I was ignorant. I didn't know any better. Um, and then 2018, I lost my mom. Um, and her body just wasn't healthy enough to fight the pneumonia that she caught. And around November, December of 2018, I said, I have to put myself in a different position and make sure that I'm healthy enough to fight whatever disease comes. That way I can be there for my kids and my kids don't have to go through what I just went through. Uh, so I quit smoking cigarettes and I, you know, got in touch with Kat and she got me hooked up with Beachbody. Um, I was I was just gonna go get a gym membership, and I, I started off. I had one of those uh, sit up bars things that you know you, you can do crunches with, that you do push ups and dips, and that's how I started working out. And then I was using V Shred, and then when I got hooked up with Cat, we had talked about P90X. That's what I did back in the day. I tried to do, but I was a smoker, so it was hard. Um, and then she got she introduced me to Lift Four, and then I just uh, I took off from there. That is so incredible. And I mean, I'm so sorry to hear about your mom. I have no doubt that was Thank like you. terrible, but then it's kind of great that you've taken something that's got to be such a huge loss and made it one of your turning points of living your best life, you know, because your yeah. story, your story actually is very similar to my husband's. He was like living for the party for sure. And he was mm -hmm. a smoker and a drinker. And it was really cool even because yesterday he we were just talking about how he used to be a smoker and how he can't even like think of that now, you know, like that was such a regular part of his life. And now if he's like, I got to go outside to smoke, which is what he used to always do, you know, now we're like, that would be so weird because he's just, you know, just transformed so much from that. So that is so awesome. It's crazy. So then you got, you, you, you started look forward and you were using like, I think so many of the products too. Yeah. I actually just put an order for recovery and energize yesterday. Last night I was just sitting at home like, Ooh, all right, let's do that. That is too funny. That is so great, though. And then let's see. I know I had a couple more questions. Um, how would you say, I mean, obviously, you kind of shared a lot of that, how your quality of life has changed now. So who is the Francis today versus the Francis before Beachbody? Well, I haven't had a drink since uh, January 19, 2018. Oh, 2019. Wow. And that's, uh, and that's pretty incredible. That is incredible. I haven't had a cigarette since December 30th, 2018. And um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's been an incredible, uh, incredible life. It, it's been, well, the Francis today, Francis before, right? Francis before would find every excuse not to do something and to, um, and to just kind of slack off. And oh, I can't do that because of my toe hurts. It's something stupid, something silly. Uh, the Francis today finds every excuse to do something. Let's a uh, real life. Uh, example is today's pandemic that we have going on. It's very real. It's very serious. I'm very grateful that I have beach body and my workout routine has not changed one bit. Um, but the Francis from before would find this uses as an excuse to go back to drinking and go back to smoking and go back to Netflix and all the time. Um, the Francis now uh, took his four children and started a garden in the backyard. Um, and we have blueberry bush in the ground. We have two strawberry bushes in the ground. And we took a nice, you know, you know, 100 square feet in the backyard, turned all the soil over. That way, if the grocery stores do go under and someone's got to feed us, I know how to feed me. And um, that's how what the old are your four kids? There's an opportunity to learn and educate himself and, and get going, rocking and rolling. How old are your kids? Oh, 15, uh, 11, 11, and 7. Oh, my gosh. You literally almost made me start crying because I feel like that's what some people don't understand is like, this isn't just about fitness. Like, of course the fitness results are insane. Like how much, what did you lose? Something like 
55, 60 pounds? 60 pounds total. 60. Well, now I, I put some on in muscle. I, I, I went oh, from yeah. 230. I went from 230 down to um, 170, 171, 172. So that was my 60 pound loss. And then I built, I'm at 192 now, but I put it on in muscle. Totally. I've never been at 18% at body fat in my life. And now that's kind of where I, I hover, which is pretty cool. That is so great. And I also loved reading how you said um, that you know now that if you put in the work, you'll get results and that there's something calming about that. I mean, that really just shows how you transform not just your body, but your mind to recognize that. It, it, helped, me, it helped me develop patience. The microwave effect isn't there for me anymore. I know like with 10 rounds, I started 10 rounds with the coaches, right? Um, and I love it. And so I just finished week three yesterday. But Joel had put out a post asking that we start over. Right. So like the old Francis has been like, oh, I already put three weeks in, you know? But the new Francis is like, you know what? Let's, let's start over. He wants me to do it for a reason. This guy seems to know what he's talking about. And today, I, so I just did day one again. And I sweat more today than I did the first day one. That is so great. And Katerina, did you want to add anything? I'm loving the Boston accent. Um, no, I, I, in all sincerity, I am so proud of Francis. I remember first talking to him back, like he said, in, I think it was December of 2018. Is that right? Yeah, or early January, right. maybe? Right after, because Dina told me to call you at Thanksgiving. And then I, uh, and then I said, we started talking shortly after that. Yeah. But I just remember the tone of that Francis then. And I... I know, and I'm listening to the tone of the Francis now, and it's um, it's amazing. It really is, because I I remember vividly our conversation back on that day, and you were pretty bummed out, but you were also very ready for a change. Oh yeah. So I'm really proud of you, for sure. I was a lost puppy then. I remember. I remember. I had to smoke a cigarette before I even talked to you. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that crazy. I love it. <sighs> Well, oh, that's awesome. thank you both for hopping on here. And I just wanted to let you know that you are not a finalist. You are the winner. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, that's you are the cool. predetermined winner. So congratulations. You are the March $250 Transformation Challenge winner for Dare to Dream. So wait and inspire us. I will be sharing your story and... Just, I love, I literally loved reading your story. Um, maybe more so, maybe because it hit a little close to home for me as well. So um, I just want to say good job. I'll be getting you your prize. Way to go, Katarina, for having that conversation with the old Francis and helping him become the new Francis. Uh, <laughs> but just wanted to tell you, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I enjoy when I do my Insanity Max 30, uh, seeing Sean T kind of torture you a little bit. It kind of makes me laugh. Yes, he does. He did not go easy. <laughs> That's why I hate sweat intervals. <laughs> I cracked up because I was doing it and I was like, oh my God, I see her on Facebook all the time. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you guys. I hope you have a good rest of your Monday and I'll message you to make sure I get you your prize. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Francis. Congrats. Thanks, Kat.